With increased interest in space in the past year, civilian space travel now becomes a reality. We wanted to take a look at a phenomenon in the universe that's long captivated the imagination, and that's the occurrence of black holes. Astrophysicist and professor Jana Levin has devoted her career to the exploration of black holes, and her new book, The Black Hole Survivor Guide, breaks down the fundamental science behind black holes for all the non-scientists out there like myself. Jana, thanks so much for joining us <laughs> Thanks today. so much for having me. So Great just, to be here. Let's start Start with the basics. Yeah. What's a black hole? You know, a lot of people call a black hole the thing that forms a black hole. So we often talk about a star that's very heavy that begins to collapse under its own weight at the end of its life cycle. And if it's massive enough, its death state will be a black hole. The star collapses and it leaves behind a region where not even light can escape. Oh. It's so strongly condensed, but the star is actually gone. It leaves behind what we call this event horizon where not even light can escape as like an archaeological record in space-time. The star itself continues to fall. So if you go up to what we call a black hole, there's really nothing there. It's just a shadow on the sky. It's actually a region of empty space. And why is it important that people understand the idea of a black hole? I liken this to having a connection with the universe. We're progeny of the universe. We are part of how the Big Bang happened, how, part of how stars formed. We know that black holes are plentiful. There's probably going to be something around a billion black holes in our own galaxy. We are in orbit around a supermassive black hole in the center of our galaxy. It's over four million times the mass of the sun. And we're in orbit around that black hole with our whole solar system, just like we're in orbit around the sun. So black holes actually sculpt our past, and they may have something to do with our future. We're progeny of the universe. It sounds like a very like Shakespearean line. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell me about how you compare this to a hologram, black holes to holograms. Hmm. Oh, you've, the hologram, that's a really intriguing question. So black holes are studied not just from astrophysics, which is how they form from the death state of stars, but we also think that black holes are kind of like fundamental objects, that they're almost like elementary particles, that they could have been made in the Big Bang. And there's something about them that's exceedingly special. So all black holes with certain mass, we could also say charge and spin, are identical to all other black holes like that. They're extremely unusual. And so as well as astrophysics, we study them when we're trying to understand the very laws of physics, when we're trying to understand quantum gravity and uh, how theory of matter aligns with theory of gravity. So black holes become a theoretical terrain in which we work this out. The holography theory is the idea that really all that exists is the event horizon of the black hole, and that in some sense the interior of the black hole doesn't exist at all. So there's just this shadow, and on the shadow is all the information about everything that ever fell into the black hole, and it projects an illusion of a three-dimensional object called a black hole. And you, you have these illustrations of these astronauts mm -hmm. that are, are floating in, in the mm -hmm. universe. What was the, the intention behind uh, that portrayal? So this artist, wonderful artist, Leah Halloran, very good friend of mine, uh, loves science, loves space. She's a great artist out in Los Angeles. And she and I, just over martinis one night, <laughs> were talking about black holes, which she loves to talk about. And I was explaining to her that I had all these visualizations of black holes. I draw a lot but they're not artistic renderings, a lot of technical drawings. And we had the idea that she would find a kind of vocabulary to explain this process of investigating the black hole, the, the survivor's uh, field guide of exploring the black hole. And she made more than 20 original paintings for the book. And you talk about how black holes are indirectly seen and heard. How so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Black holes are literally a shadow. You can never directly see a black hole. It's like seeing the shadow of a tree. We need light behind the black hole to shine behind the black hole for us to realize that some of the light is being occulted and it's gone dark in this region. So you need a light source behind the black hole. And uh, the first ever human procured image of that shadow was only from a couple of years ago, which I think surprises people all of our detections until a couple of years ago were indirectly watching black holes cannibalize companion stars, literally like pulling cotton candy in the atmosphere off of a companion star. And that would be very bright. And we'd see it spilling onto something very heavy and very small and very dark. And so the black hole we've always inferred is there 
by looking at other things. Well, hopefully all of our viewers have gotten this for their cocktail party conversation, because <laughs> I know you like talking about black holes over martinis. Uh, lastly, what do you hope the viewers take away, or, or listener, readers take away yeah. from your book? I think that there's this kind of austere beauty to the universe, and it gives us a sense of meaning and connection to the universe. This moment when we all looked at the black hole together when the Event Horizon Telescope Project uh, revealed this portrait of the light behind the shadow of a black hole, a billion people around the globe looked together at that moment at a black hole 55 million light years away, over six and a half billion times the mass of the sun, and we did that together as a species. And I think that there's something deeply transcendent about that. And uh, so I want people to walk away with a feeling of the beauty and a feeling of the connectedness with the cosmos. Jana Levin, we thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thanks so much for having me. And Jana's book, Black Hole Survival Guide, is out now wherever books are sold. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.